maybe this is kind of turning a corner. And uh, today was just full of so many positives. I had such a great day. To that first tee shot of the day, no warm up, just step up and hit a ball with a driver, a fairly tight tee shot. Why was that one so good and right where I was aiming? There's a little theory that I have behind. For me personally, I don't know that it happens to all of you, but there's a theory that I've had for a while that I've kind of been developing in my brain as to why my opening shots are usually effortless and they pretty much go where I wanted them to go and the beginning of the round generally for me is pretty good. I'll explain. I think we made it. So we ended up pin high, right club, uh, just one foot off of the green in the, the left hand fringe. Even though the fringe seems like it's a little bit hairy, it's such a short shot, it would require such a delicate touch with the chip. Not really warmed up, I'm going with the putter. Man, I don't know the last time that that happened. An opening birdie on the very first hole, par four, 400 yards, rolled it right out of the fringe into the cup. I, honestly, I can't remember the last time that happened. All right, let me see if I can kind of start explaining what my thoughts have been lately and put them into words. I, I, I haven't tried to do this before. They've just been random thoughts popping into my head or feelings. So let me see. If I can try to break this down. So my first couple of holes with no warm-up and I haven't been practicing lately I just have not had the time or the money. They're generally fairly good holes or you know decent shots at least. I step up all I'm thinking about is a spot and a target and I'm just I'm just like okay let's just get the ball out there and it works it's very simple there's no mechanics there's no swing thoughts there's nothing except just let's see what we get really that's kind of it and then as the round progresses sometimes it'll be on hole two or three sometimes it might be four or five but things start to break down and I think generally where that happens is is that I'll have one bad shot or one bad swing it starts to put a serious lack of confidence in the back of my mind that I can put the club on the back of the ball. And so then I start thinking about, okay, let's make sure we do this, let's get that, and it becomes mechanical right away. Maybe something like that. Now I hit that fairly well, but it ended up being a pretty big hook, so instantly. 
my mind starts to think, oh crap, what happened? What's going wrong? What do I need to fix? What am I doing incorrectly? Where's the problem? So then you end up with a shot like this. Now, instead of being, I don't know, 150 away from the hole, now I'm 200 away from the hole. I'm in kind of a, a dodgy lie. I've got a three iron in hand. They're a set of vintage blades. And now I've got to try and hit a three iron pretty spot on to get up here to this green. And then something like that happens. I blast it way right. It hit this tree, it fell down. I'm over here past this stump, nowhere near the fairway, and now I'm probably gonna have a tricky shot coming into this green. And here it is. I've still got over 100 yards left into this green. Uh, luckily, I'm in an opening. But now I'm trying to put my third shot on from over 100 yards out rather than, you know, just having a simple little 30, 40, maybe 50 yard pitch. So that's probably a strategical mistake. Um, really doesn't fit with my narrative, what I'm trying to explain here, but let me hit this shot. Okay, a little low, right at the target though, it's okay. And normally I would put this one again, but this is just way too furry, it's, I've got to hit a chip. And that's a bogey that negates my first hole birdie. I'm going to chalk that one up to, yeah, I hit some not so great shots, but it was pretty poor strategy coming out of that rough as well. All right, back to what I was talking about. You're striking the ball okay in the beginning on the first hole or two, just ho-hum vanilla shot. But then you hit one a little sideways like I did on the last hole, and I've already got thoughts creeping into my head about, well, am I out of position here? Should I, do I need to be? I'm already getting mechanical. I'm already having those doubts. My confidence is already taking a big hit. And so now I'm trying to fix my swing on the golf course rather than just picking a target and send ball to target. Pick a target, hit golf ball at target, go find it. Not every shot's getting into perfect. Occasionally, you're gonna catch a bad break. You're gonna hit a shot that doesn't quite go where you wanted it to go, and you're gonna have to punch out or take your medicine. That's all part of golf. and I hit what should have been a great punch out. And instead, it got a little bit up in the air. I should have played a five iron instead of a seven. Good thing this one's a par five because I've still got 170 yards into the flag. It struck excellent and there was no mechanical thought in that whatsoever. So what, what, am, I, what am I trying to say here? I mean, speak it Chad, just say it, right? What I'm trying to say is that I am a classic overthinker. I overthink things, I overcomplicate things, I make things more difficult than they need to be, and I'm always wondering when are the wheels going to come off. I get so negative on myself on the golf course, uh, I start picking apart my swing, I think I'm not good enough, I lose my confidence, and then I start trying to do all this stuff that really has nothing to do with hitting a golf ball. Well, I couldn't save my par, that's a bogey. But you know, it was a valiant effort. When I was younger, I played golf a lot more often. Uh, I was playing multiple times a week. Um, and I was a better golfer. Now, a lot of people might say, well, yeah, if you're playing more and you're practicing more, you should be a better golfer. You're more familiar with the game, you're working on your stuff, you're improving your skill, you're getting better, Yada, yada, yada. But to a certain extent, I guess that's true. However, I think the real reason that I was better when I was younger, as opposed to now when I'm older, is that I didn't complicate the game. I didn't complicate the swing at all. I really did not watch a lot of instruction. I didn't watch a bunch of YouTube instructional videos. I wasn't looking at swing methods or, or, or 
any of that stuff. I wasn't overloading my brain with mechanics. I, I kind of developed my own and I watched my ball flight. And if my ball was flying the way I wanted it to, you know, I was like, okay, I've got something good. And then if something went astray, maybe I overhooked it. Maybe I left it out right. Maybe I hit it a little low. Maybe it was a little high. Then I adjusted accordingly and I simply said, okay, if you're hitting it too thin, just play it just a hair back in your stance a little bit, swing through it, and make sure you catch ball before turf. You know, if you're overhooking it, try and quiet your hands down. You know, things like that were just stuff that I figured out without having to, to watch a bunch of videos and, uh, and just I analyze my swing to death and pick it apart. And a lot of advice that people give is to get back to enjoying golf like you're a kid again. Well, I didn't play golf when I was a little kid. Um, I played golf in my late teens, almost when I was 20 years old. That's when I started. So that sort of motor skill development, that familiarity with the game, those natural instincts that are not really instincts at all. They're just the results of practice that become instincts. I didn't have all of that stuff. Maybe a lot of you out there didn't have that opportunity either. I keep losing my tees today. Now again, it doesn't mean that everything is going to be perfect. It doesn't mean that I'm going to hit every shot great and they're all going to be effortless and it's going to be a beautiful day and I'm going to come out and fire a 63 and everybody's going to pour champagne all over my head. I'm behind a tree again. I'm in jail and the, the pen is that way. So it doesn't mean that, you know, I'm going to hit every shot great. But what it means is, is that I'm not thinking mechanics. I'm just going to go out here and pick a target. I'm going to punch it underneath these tree limbs and I'm going to get up and down and try and make my par. There you go. You know, one other thing. We're all becoming these, I don't know, these 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 head cases where, where we're looking for the, the answers. We still haven't found it and we got to get this right and we got to make sure we get the right mechanics and choose the right method and, and all this stuff. And it's like, man, at the end of the day, all you're really trying to do is, for me anyway, is just take the club back and just take the club through I want to try and make decent contact. I want to just feel like when I'm over the ball, I check myself and say, yeah, it feels like I'm going to make good contact. And then swing through it and see what you get. It's on the green. Got a chance at par. Beautiful wedge shot. Well, maybe I should have played my 57 rather than my 54 because... I'm on the back of the green and I've got an epically long putt here on what looks to be, honestly today, some furry under repair greens. That's a double. That's a three putt from way back there. These greens are harsh, man. Uh, super slow on that green. It's in the shade. It's wet. Man, these things are furry. That's not me, though. I'm not going to all of a sudden change my putting stroke now because, you know, I three-putted a green. It doesn't mean that the same putting stroke that has served me well for such a long time is now all of a sudden busted and it's a piece of garbage. Oh, 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 something like that. I hadn't done that in forever. <laughs> What's really funny is I wasn't even going to record that because I thought, oh, well, this is going to be uneventful. Okay, par five on the tee right after I just hold out that wedge shot for a, a birdie. I got to calm myself down. Pick target, hit club. I think that previous wedge shot that I hit back on uh, that par four that I ended up doubling 
That shot here could put me on the green for birdie. Yeah, something like that. regulation with a four iron. Ain't nothing gonna break my stride. I'm rather than I won't touch ground. Oh no, I got to keep on moving. Ain't 